Hey, it's Jose Rubino with Devil's Dinosaur. We're here with Jamil Douglas after Friday's uh, practice. Uh, Jamil, you feeling uh, you know a little excited over here? Uh, last practice in Tempe tomorrow, uh, bowl game in uh, less than ten days. How are you feeling? Definitely, I'm feeling good. Um, we've had a, a good couple weeks of preparation, and you know we're ready to take on a great opponent at a great bowl game. So everyone's feeling good, and we're excited about it. I mean, as far as the preparation for this bowl game, I mean, I know Todd Graham's been saying for a while now that you're taking this really seriously. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're not taking this as a vacation in San Diego or like uh, right. a throwing game or everything. Just talk about, I mean, how, how do you feel that in practice in the film room? I mean, how do you do you feel that the attitude you're getting right now is just like it was back in you know, September, October? Definitely. I mean, this is a big game, you know, regardless of, of what anyone says, you know, um, the, the opponent is great. The atmosphere is going to be great, and you know we we want to get this 11 win for these seniors. So you know we want to go down as one of the top five teams that have done it at ASU. So that's what we're aiming for. One thing about the bowl preparation, it kind of helps uh, you know identify the players that you're going to need in spring practice, right. let alone 2014 season. Right. Um, as, as one of the veterans on the offensive line, I mean, uh, how do you approach it from that angle? I mean, you're trying to try and team like you know help the younger players even more right. because their time is coming up, you know, exactly. sooner. Uh huh. Yeah. I mean, I've been more hands on, um, just coaching the guys that are going to be here, trying to help them out, just so we can have a step forward when, when springtime comes. And it's definitely a weird feeling to, to to feel like a veteran and be the veteran of the group. But you know, it, it's something that I'm going to embrace, and I'm going to get these guys ready to come and compete next year. One thing that's been said about you a lot, a, lot, a lot is that you're versatile. You already played here tackle in the past. Is that the plan for you to go ahead and play tackle and you let somebody like Christian Westerman now play guard? Uh, I'm not sure. You know, we, we've talked about it a little bit, talked about me playing left or right tackle, but, you know, we'll, we'll see come springtime. I, I love playing guard, and I can play tackle if that's what they want me to do, but we'll see. I mean, do, do you feel actually you'd like to go to maybe finish your career at tackle? You know, it's a little, a little uh, you know, uh, attention-grabbing position compared to right. guard, right? Uh, definitely. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't have a problem with it. I'll embrace it. You know, I feel like I can, I can get good at any position that I play, and I'll embrace it if the coaches want me to do it. When you look at Texas Tech on film, I mean, obviously the last five games are really rough for them. You know, right. they, they give up a lot of yards. Right. But nonetheless, what do you see from their defense as you prepare for them? I mean, they're, they're a very physical defense. You know, have great playmakers in their front seven. And, you know, if you look at the games, they were in every game until, half to, or until after the half. So, you know, they played great physical defense. And, you know, they just, they just kind of lost it towards the end. But, I mean, I think they're, I think they're great playmakers. And they have, they have a lot of things that they do to try to confuse our offense, but that's what we've been working on this entire week. And as far as the offensive line, being such a veteran group, I mean, five players playing all season long, I mean, do you feel that that the strength you have up front can really go ahead and help you in a game like Texas Tech? Definitely. I mean, it's a different opponent opponent than we faced all year. So, I mean, I think our just our camaraderie that we've built over the year is definitely going to help us be able to communicate better and handle the things that they sent at us this game.